Recently, the papers of Judge William Hungate, who oversaw the implementation of the country's largest and longest operating race-based school desegregation program, have been made available to the public. Along with legal documents, the archive includes letters he received from St. Louis citizens expressing their concerns, hopes, prejudices, beliefs, and assumptions about race and education. These are the voices that sounded in Judge Hungate's ears as he made decisions that would influence the racial history of a region. In my junior high years, I went to school in a fully integrated district and feel I can honestly say my opposition has nothing to do with racial bias. I am not opposed to my children going to an integrated school, but I am violently opposed to my child going to a school anywhere that requires a 15 to 40 mile trip one way from our home. I am a level-headed, law-abiding, voting, church-going, average 35-year-old, American-born female citizen who is a wife and mother with a Vietnam veteran husband who supports our country and its principles. I am not a rebellious person, but I will not participate in such a program in the name of education. I will be praying for you as you render judgment in this serious matter that touches so many lives. Mrs. Rodney N. Hillsborough. Judge Hungate, I'm enclosing a few on-the-point statements that you need to read and heed in your wild, illegal, and irrational dictatorship in area school districts. The districts were legally formed and meant to remain, not subjected to some idiotic rulings by a stupid judge's social theory. How can black learn better with whites or vice versa? Black people like their own lifestyle. They like black English as well as he come, she say, and I seen, and they be there. The strongest point is that responsible white parents are not obligated to pay impossible costs for those who carelessly, irresponsibly, and out of wedlock produce thousands of offspring for the public to support. A concerned citizen. I've never seen you, not even a picture of you, but if you insist on a compulsory method of desegregation, well then you must be a black man. What next? Will you make it mandatory to bus a black man to a white man's wife and the white man to the black man's wife? I'm not a racist. A fair citizen, St. Louis. You goddamn old fool jackass buzzard SOB. Just who in the hell do you think you are? You are not Jesus Christ or some other divine entity by any means. Jack E. Springfield. Our good Lord was not only a segregationist in locating mankind in various sections of the world according to color, but was a conformist because he made fowl and animal conform to his will. We must agree that our good Lord did not want a robin mating with a red bird or a cat with a dog. Today, we see the government spending billions of the taxpayers' money on welfare programs, illegitimate children, etc., but little is being done to liberate the black race to a new section such as Alaska, where cities and communities could be built to establish the race. E.A.B. LeMay, Missouri. I like busing because it gives you a chance to get away from your own neighborhood kids also gives you a chance to meet other people in other neighborhoods. I like desegregated classes because it gives us a chance to be around other people that are not your color, and it gives you a chance to really know if you like the other color or not. Like some people say, all whites look alike. Well, if you're around whites all the time, then you can tell that all whites do not look alike. Crystal B. Grant Middle School. I do not like busing because you have to go to bed earlier, get up earlier, wait for the bus in rain, snow, and heat, and be on time for the bus. James M. Wilkinson Elementary School. My opinion stands as this. When I first heard of busing, I was completely against it. I always wanted world peace, but not a desegregated school. I had been going to grand school for seven years at that time. I didn't mind a desegregated city, but not my school. John G. Grand Middle School. I am writing this to you on a much talked about issue called desegregation. My opinion on desegregation is that it was a very bad decision which was made at the wrong time. What I am trying to say is that the people who made the decision had never been blessed in their lives, so they therefore do not know what it's like. They just sit in the office and 
they have and say, let's bust the school children. They don't know if it's right if it's the right thing to do, but they carry out the orders. When we try to tell them our opinion, they don't listen to us. How can they do what's right for us when they don't know how we feel? Christy S. Grant Middle School. Busing to me was a good idea. When I get to meet different people, I did get to do different things. Busing was trouble, they thought, but it turned out pretty good. I get along with them. John C. Blow Middle School. I have to get up pretty early, but it doesn't matter. But some don't like the idea of busing. But again, I will tell you, it couldn't be better. I like my school. My complaints. The lunches aren't so hot, but it's better than nothing. The buses take too long, and the school hours are too long. Tim C. Malincrot School. When I first came here, I was scared because it was a new school, and I had never been in a room with black children. I was always told that black people were different, and then I would say why, but they never answered because they didn't know. All they knew was that they were black and thought that people of different color are different, but they aren't, because when I came in this room, we were all the same. We weren't different at all, but our color. And I say even if you're black, white, purple, blue, etc., you aren't different. Lisa P. Hodgen Elementary School. If the NAACP would quit thinking of themselves only as blacks and start thinking of themselves as Americans, everyone, including themselves, would be better off. Because if you think about it, everyone is of a minority background, whether it be German, Polish, etc. Please let my children stay close to home. Don't be pressured by the so-called minority groups. Jean G. St. Louis Segregation in St. Louis is strictly de facto and not de jure, for whites simply resist living near blacks, as they always have. It is natural. You are merely compounding the tragedy wrought by the 14th Amendment and its transmogrified progeny, Brown versus Board of Education. Even a federal judge cannot defy nature, and nature decrees the mutual antagonism of the races. Gerald W. St. Louis. I am for school desegregation. I think blacks and whites should be brought together because they are all equal, even if they are of different color. They should be treated as equals. There should be equal and fair distribution of good teachers throughout the schools. As for the busing situation, I think Busing should be shared as equally as possible by both black and white students. Respectfully, Virginia B., St. Louis. Please know you have spiritual support from your church and from your pastor in this overwhelming task. May I refer you to one of my favorite passages in Micah 6, verse 8. And what does the Lord require of you? but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Reverend Kendale F., Troy, Missouri. I found out in year 1980 that I'd be bused. I was kind of worried because I hadn't ever been bused before and I'm 12 years old. I prayed every night long before school started. I thought it would be a racial problem at Grant Middle School because I heard that only whites attended. Well, when I came here at Grant School, I loved it. The teachers, the students who are now my friends, white and black, even mixed. I can get along with everybody in my classes. In spite of my fears at first, I love this school and my friends, teachers, and most of all, I love God, because I have this opportunity to share and experience this desegregation. As long as I'm safe, I won't mind going to school by bus. Still in all, I think people shouldn't be forced to do things that could be a big problem. Lisa Marie H. Grant Middle School. I think busing is a terrible thing to do to kids, because I think kids should be able to go to a school in their district. Because kids don't like going on a bus and going to a neighborhood that they don't know about. They would have more fun going to a school where they know where they are. You won't believe the difference in the kids. Marty B. Blow Middle School. I will go to a South school because I have to go to the school they send me to. White kid or black kids is the same to me. My mother is not happy about it, but she has changed her mind about it. I am learning a lot. School is my thing. I would like to be a teacher. So much for black or white. Michelle C. King School. 
All right. To tell the truth, blacks and whites aren't getting together very well. I think the blacks have the equal rights as much as the whites. I am for desegregation. Robert K. Grant Middle School. To tell you the truth, I think busing stinks, and so do a lot of other kids. Why can't they stay on their side and we stay on our side? They don't like it any better than us. Rhonda S. Bow Middle School. Being bused to school is very fun. When I first started being bused to school, I was nervous, but after a while it started getting exciting. I like it because you get to meet new friends and have fun with them. It's pretty nice, because like I said, you get to meet a lot of new friends. Just by myself being black, it's nice and fun having white kids. Some of us are so close, we act like brothers and sisters. William B. Shaw School. The first day I found I would be bused to a different school, I couldn't seem to get it off my mind. After a few weeks of riding the bus, I was used to it, and I was glad to be riding the school bus. Of course, I do agree with the idea of busing different races to the same school, because this should show the people that they can get along with other people, no matter what race or different custom. And I really think it's starting to work. Cindy D. Mallinckrodt School. Dear Judge Hungate, this is just to thank you for your efforts in the St. Louis School desegregation. The other day, I heard a segment of your speech on the radio, and I thought it was wonderful. I am a teacher's aide in the St. Louis Public Schools, and I feel that desegregation is more than learning to read and write, but learning to know other people. I work in a magnet school, and I watch the children work and play together. What a wonderful world it would be if all people would get along like these children. If the adults would stay out of it, maybe this thing could work, it, work out all right. God bless you. Yours sincerely, Gloria J.